All right, Stockmaster fans, bonus feature on the Death Game disc, Little Miss Innocence. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with middle-aged Rick picking up a couple of young hitchhikers. Where are you girls going? Oh, just anywhere. Judy and Carol. Carol's the blonde. He dropped them off, but then they're gonna see if they can get into his house. Well, he lets them in, but basically says, I'll take you wherever you want to go. A little while later, Rick and Carol get a little frisky. Things escalate pretty quickly. He ends up taking her virginity. I think I had my ladies backwards. This is Carol. Judy is the blonde. And now he's done with Judy. He's going to take Carol. And then they all hop into bed sure. together. Oh, sure. I never did anything with three people before. <laughs> That's so funny. You never did anything with two people before tonight. This guy's a machine. Three times in the span of about an hour. What kind of pills are he using? He gave him money for cab fare. Instead, they bought groceries and came back. Are they staying for a while, perhaps? Well, two of them immediately start doing it on the floor while the other one watches. My turn. This guy has some kind of crazy stamina. Shooter was worried he takes him out for a, a day in the town, gray hair and all, and when the day is done, they're supposed to go home. But at the end of the day, they end up back up in the bedroom again, all three of them. But Rick has had enough. We had that all understood. I explained the situation to you last night. Was that before or after? Now look, don't get cute. I told you, I just can't have you here anymore. But the girls aren't having any of that. They're just being playful and silly and having a good time. Judy then pulls out her driver's license to show him something. So now he's kind of trapped. They're jailbait. He knows it. Like what then? And they hold all the cards because they threaten to go to the police. She tried to get frisky again and he slapped her. Finally, Rick decides he's going to leave. 
hotel where I can get a good night's sleep. Hey, Judy, get dressed. Rick's taking us to a hotel. I can't believe this is happening to me. Well, damn it, you want sex? All right. Let's just see how much sex you girls can take. So Rick is passed out under the coffee table. Well, we don't want him to rest. Uh, just for a few minutes. And now we're going to get some insight as to what yeah. these girls are actually trying to do. They do have a plan. Oh, I don't know. You know, Rick's not the only one I'm about to pass out. Well, don't. We've almost got him there. We already know what's going to happen, don't we? I mean, do we really have to keep this thing going? He's passed out. That's all that's going to happen. He's just going to Look, Judy, don't try to back out on the deal now. We said we are going to go all the way, everything and anything. Well, how can we when he just keeps passing out? Well, we planned on that, right? We figured that was going to happen, remember? We said that we are going to go all the way, no matter what. He passes out cold, and we do it to him while he's out cold. We said we were going to find out, once and for all, if it's possible to screw a guy to death. And then Carol decides to turn it up a notch. True to her word. And then she starts whipping him. This guy is so drained at this point he can't even move. Carol has some issues. Apparently Carol was an abused child. And then our movie ends with them just uh, leaving him tied up. And that's it. Alright, let's talk about Little Miss Innocence, otherwise known as Teenage Innocence. Came out in 1973, four years before Death Game, but a very, very similar plot um, to Death Game. Um, we have a guy who basically picks up an older guy, and actually older, he's older than the lady, he's probably in his mid-40s or so, and he picks up these two young ladies on the side of the road, takes them home, and has some fun with them. Uh, they end up sleeping together. Uh, he sleeps with the uh, one girl, Judy, the blonde, turns out she's a virgin, and then um, he goes and sleeps with Carol, and then he sleeps with both of them. The man sleeps, had sex three times in like an hour, hour and a half, so he's a machine, like I said. Um, impressed with the next day he ends up sleeping with both of them again in the morning um, he was kind of surprised they were still there but they were still there he gave them some money to like uh, get a cab or whatever but instead they got groceries and came back home it's like they seem to be um, wanting to stay well eventually after a while he gets tired of them well he takes them out like on a trip like on a day trip somewhere and they end up having some fun and stuff but then he's like he's under the guys that you know he's gonna just let them go and then they're gone but nope they came back with him they slept together again eventually he gets irritated and mad with them he's like you guys got to get out of here uh we had some fun but come on this is my home you got to go and then they pull out the driver's license and turns out judy's 16 or just turned 17 actually um and and they're jailbait so then they're like he's like scared well, what am i going to do because they're threatening to uh you know call the police on him this sort of thing um and then for the next uh, half hour or so in the film, uh, they just basically screw over and over again. And then we find out later on that uh, the girls have devised some sort of plan. They were trying to screw him to death. That was literally what they were trying to do, screw him to death. At one point, they grabbed a dildo and put it in his butt, too. Uh, he didn't like that. But af after so much sex, the guy is, like, passed out all the time. And then they take advantage of him while he's out. Um, but... Um, yeah, he's, he's a mess at this point. And then we find out that Judy was uh, assaulted as a child, and then they're just basically trying to get revenge on all men, I guess. And they decide they're just going to leave him tied up, uh, naked, and just leave, and that's what happens. They leave. Now, unlike Death Game, they walked away from the house. They didn't get run over by some ASPCA truck um, a minute after they left. But that's it. They left uh, the dude tied up, and that's it. 
So anyway, that is Little Miss Innocence. Again, otherwise known as Teenage Innocence. Um, it was a decent film, actually. Uh, very similar to Death Game, like I said. And uh, for what it was, it's good. It's pretty exploitative, too. Uh, one of the chicks, the uh, one who played uh, Judy, her name is Sandra Dempsey, Sandy Dempsey. She uh, did a lot of adult films in the 70s, and then she died in some mysterious boating accident in the Gulf of Mexico. It's 1975. I can't find any information as to what exactly happened to her, but she's gone. So well, there you go. Um, and the, the other lady who played Judy, she did a few other exploitation flicks, probably did about 10 things or so. And that's it. So that is Little Miss Innocence. Again, a lot of nudity in this movie, pretty exploitative, and which is exactly what the film was made for. It's the audience they were looking for. So um, you can get this movie as an extra on the Death Game Blu-ray. I'm not sure if it's available on any other DVDs or Blu-rays, although I think it may have been actually on, on some other cheap DVD, but it's cleaned up, looks fantastic here. So anyway, that's it. Little Miss Innocence, Teenage Innocence. Check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about it. Um, this Death Game Blu-ray, it's going to be hard to come by now. Um, it's, as far as I understand, it's completely out of print. You can probably find it on eBay. Last time I looked, they were probably going for 60 70 80 bucks or so. So there you go. Check it out. Leave some comments. Little Miss Innocence. Watch it. Bye.